The, uh, members of the White House Coronavirus Task Force today joined the President to meet with a bipartisan group of uh, members of the House and of the Senate to get their counsel on the development of what the President unveiled to America's governors this afternoon. The new guidelines for opening up America again are a product of the best science uh, and the best common sense that the President has marshaled on this team and from a broad range of advisors from all across the nation. Uh, from the moment President Trump established the White House Coronavirus Task Force early on, he made it clear that, that we have no higher priority than the health and safety of the American people. The President launched a whole of government approach. And while we stand here on this day, with more than 640,000 Americans having contracted the coronavirus, and our hearts go out to the families of the more than 31,000 Americans who lost their lives and, and those who continue to struggle with serious consequences of the coronavirus, the truth is that because of the decisive action that our President took early on, suspending travel from China and thereafter from portions of uh, Europe uh, and South Korea, screening passengers because of the strong actions in partnership with every governor across America, because of the extraordinary efforts of America's health care workers on the front lines, and because of the cooperation of the American people and God's grace, we are slowing the spread. We are flattening the curve. We have preserved the capacity of our health care system, and we protected the most vulnerable. In a word, because of the actions of, uh, of this president, this administration, governors at every level, our health care workers, and our fellow Americans, we've saved lives. And every American should be comforted by that. And we can see it in the numbers, uh, in the charts that uh, I'll present today. These three maps track influenza-like illness, which in this instance is mostly coronavirus across America. The first map reflects the total number of cases on the week ending March the 28th. The next map reflects our data about the total number of cases on the week ending April 4th. And we stand here today with uh, the final map reflecting the total number of cases across America as of April the 11th. With these trends underway, President Trump tasked the White House Coronavirus Task Force to develop new guidelines for opening up America again. Those guidelines were presented today first to our nation's governors. And it is our intention at the President's direction to uh, provide these guidelines to assist governors and state health officials in evaluating the most responsible manner to reopen the economies of their states at a time and manner of their choosing. The guidelines, as uh, Americans who are looking on will note, begin with uh, what is the best criteria that our experts have developed, a downward trajectory in cases over a 14-day period of time ensuring that states have proper capacity in their health care facilities. The second set of, of uh, proposals includes a description of recommendations for state preparedness. And let me say to the American people what uh, President Trump made clear to our governors today, that our administration will continue to work day in and day out through our task force, uh, through FEMA, to ensure that our states have not only the medical supplies, uh, but that we continue to rapidly expand testing across the nation. The President reflected on the progress we've made on testing, but a few statistics for that as well, which I hope are an encouragement to the American people. On March 11th, we had performed a total of 23,588 tests. Because of the public-private partnership that President Trump initiated with commercial labs across the country, that number was 83,500 by March 18th. And as the President just said, that number is 3.5 million today. It is our expectation that we will have tested more than 5 million Americans before the end of the month of April, and we'll continue to scale those resources. So testing and medical supplies will continue to be an ongoing partnership with our states, and we want our health care workers and people all across the country to know 
of our commitment to that. Uh, finally, the, uh, the President uh, directed us to uh, uh, propose a, a phased approach uh, to, reopening, uh, to reopening our economy. It is based on up-to-date data and readiness. We'll continue to provide the very best data to our states, working with their health officials. The focus is on the mitigation of any risk of resurgence or the emergence of the coronavirus in states where it's not yet emerged. There is a focus uh, in the President's new guidelines uh, on the most vulnerable. Uh, and it's, we made this very clear to the governors today, uh, these new guidelines for uh, opening up America again can be implemented on a statewide basis or on a county by county basis. Uh, with that, I'm, I'm happy to turn it over to Dr. Deborah Burks. And if I may, Mr. President, I'd like to also extend uh, my admiration and appreciation to Dr. Burks, Dr. Fauci, and every member of our task force that worked around the clock to develop these recommendations for opening up America, where I know every American is grateful for your leadership and for theirs.